Welcome to Mind Over Matter. This is Elena Beloff, and today I'm here with Elizabeth. Hello. Where should I look? Oops. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> so uh, today is actually my fifth episode. I'm very excited. Today we're going to do something completely different from, from what I've been doing before in my previous episodes. And we have actually a, a very different looking person with very interesting <laughs> hair. I love your hair. Oh, it's it's really you. nice. Two, three different colors, right? Not just your top. I'm just so exactly <laughs> right. Really matchy. That's so cute. <laughs> so that's perfect. Oh. Okay, so um, you've never been hypnotized. No. What's your interest in hypnosis? Why? Why would you like to try that? Well, what I'm doing is I am working on a memoir, and it's about the year when I was 13 and 14, eighth grade, basically. And um, I want to, some of my memories are very vivid, and I have certain things that I definitely remember. Um, but then there's other things that just because it was 30 years ago, I don't necessarily remember every single thing that I did, like that whole entire year. Um, and specifically, there was about a month when I ran away from home, and I was living on the Lower East Side with my boyfriend. And I remember a couple of things, but I don't remember, I, there were other days, and I don't remember where we were or what we did. So... Um, I tried, but I thought this might be an interesting way to sort of get to a deeper level of remembering things and see how that mm -hmm. goes. You're trying to remember the time specifically 30 years ago for yeah. about a month. Yeah. I think yeah. was happening. And how old were you at the time? Uh, 14. 14. So, you, sorry, wait, wait, <laughs> not, everybody knows how old you are, right? <laughs> I didn't realize that you're, you look so oh, young. Oh, yes, that's, that's amazing. amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's okay. Age is nothing, really, you know? Yeah. I... I, no one should ever hide their age. I don't know why people hide their age. It's right, so, no. so silly. Yeah. Don't you think so? <laughs> so we are young and beautiful. That's all. That's all we right. know. <laughs> Thirty years ago, for about a month, mm -hmm. you did a lot of interesting uh, activities, interesting mm -hmm. things, and you want to you want to go back. You want to remember details. Do you want to remember specific events? Do you want, or you do you just want to remember that time and see what comes up? basically that time and see what comes up. I want to just be able to sort of flush it out. It's kind of the conclusion of that part of the book is mm. this sort of episode. And I feel like it's a little boring because I just remember a couple of spotty things here yeah. and there. And I, I know I was having more fun, but I don't really remember what we were doing. Um, mm. So that's interesting. I, yeah. So there's a classical model of the mind. We have mm -hmm. a conscious mind, the mind, mind that we use when we are fully awake. And we also have a subconscious mind. It's that deeper part of you that knows absolutely everything about you. Mm -hmm. In that part of you, you have your model of the world, which you build throughout your life, your beliefs that you hold about yourself and the world around you. Mm -hmm. So uh, you also have your memories, everything that you've collected throughout your life. You can uh, begin to remember, uh, you can recall certain uh, memories when you're deeply relaxed. Mm -hmm. So today, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to relax, first of all, how to really use uh, hypnosis to relax so deeply that you can start asking questions. Mm -hmm. It's almost like speaking with your inner unconscious mind. Mm -hmm. So um, that's, that's the first goal, is to show you that you can really go deeper, deeply relaxed. The second goal would be to help us access some forgotten memories mm -hmm. that you can really instantly recall today and say, ah, that, that was, that's interesting, it's come, something's coming up, mm -hmm. right? The third goal is to um, give you suggestions to, to begin to remember within the next day, few days or a week, uh, certain in interesting memories and things that you've done so that you'll be sitting somewhere on the su on subway or at home or writing or maybe eating lunch and it's just going to start coming to you. Maybe you can put in a suggestion that I should write every day <laughs> while oh, you're in there. Yeah. <laughs> while you're in there. Sure. Because I really you should be. Well, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, that's a good thing because mm -hmm. as you write, what happens, you, you go into a state of hypnosis. So uh, all I need to do is use a hypnotic induction. Okay. Uh, a hypnotic induction is, is a, uh, it's, it's a set of instructions that I'm going to give you. And all you have to do is really follow them word for word. Uh, then you'll be able to relax um, and enter a state of receptivity. Okay. okay. You may go really deep. You may go into a light state of trance or deep state of trance. We'll see. Um, it, there's no right or wrong. So you'll maybe you'll be in a what we'll call it alpha alpha waves or theta waves. Okay. Alpha waves are a slightly higher frequency than theta theta waves. Mm -hmm. It's it's the electrical activity around your brain that can be measured by uh, EEG. 
Um, perhaps you want to find a spot that you'd like to stare at, just gaze at that spot. It can be absolutely anything. And as you do, just notice how your eyelids are blinking. They have a natural tendency to blink. And as they do, try to keep them open. Try to, try to really keep your eyes open. And the more you try to keep them open, notice how they just want to close. Notice that, that heaviness, that, that sensation. That's right. And so as they want to close, whenever you're ready, you can close them. That's right. Close them right now and just keep them closed. That's right. So see, feel that relaxation, how, how good it feels just to have your eyes completely shut. Now, in the moment as I count, Elizabeth, I'd like you to open your eyes and close them right back in between counts. It's going to be very, very simple. Now, here's your instruction. When you close them right back, imagine that they just feel heavier each time. One, open your eyes, close them right back. Two, open your eyelids, close them right back. Notice they grow heavier and heavier. For the next count, I want you to try to open your eyes, but imagine as if you can't mm, ten. Try to open them. Imagine you can't. That's right. Stop trying. Stop trying. Eleven. Try even harder to open your eyes, but you cannot. Try hard and stop trying. That's right. Droopy. Sleepy. All thoughts push away into the distance. There's nothing for you to do but relax and let go. Your body begins to relax. It's a nice and healing meditation right now for you. There's absolutely nowhere to go, nowhere to rush, nothing to do. If you hear any sounds coming from outside or the hallway or the phone or the cameras, allow those sounds take you deeper, relaxed. Try to lift both of your arms, but imagine as if they're so heavy. Try to lift your arms and imagine you can't. That's right. And they're so, so, so heavy. That's right. Try to lift them right now, you can't, and stop trying, let go, relax. Imagine as if you are at the very top, so very high, high up, somewhere in a lighthouse, very tall lighthouse. You're so high and you're going to take the stairs down. And when you take the stairs down, it's almost, it looks like a spiral that goes down. And if you look down, you can't even see the bottom yet. You're going to take those stairs down as you go down step by step. One step down, another step down, all the way down. Notice yourself descending and feeling more and more relaxed. Getting closer to the bottom, at the very bottom. Maybe there are tiny little windows. If you look out the windows, you'll begin to see a beautiful ocean. Maybe you'll even hear the sound of the ocean. As you go down, notice you're there. Here's the bed. It looks like a cloud. Now, if you were in a cloud, where would you be? How would you feel if you floated in the sky? That's right. Floating in the sky now. Through the sky, drifting deep or relaxed. More and more. 200 deep and relaxed. All sounds fade away into the distance. That's right. You are creative. You are enough. You're very talented. You're skillful. You're a good writer. In fact, you're a great writer. You're good at what you do. Keep thinking that. Know that. Accept it thrive as a writer. You thrive as a writer. You thrive as a writer. Thriving to you means that you are truly very focused when you write. You begin to make appointments with yourself now on a daily basis. You say to yourself, today I'm going to write and I will enjoy it. You sit down and everything begins to click. It just clicks. Memories are alive. Everything you wanted to remember is coming through, right through your unconscious into your conscious awareness, right on paper. 
Sometimes people try to remember specific things. They try to remember more. They try to remember. It becomes so hard to remember. Let go. Let go. You don't need to try to remember. Let go. Completely let go. Let your mind show you what you need to know. Sometimes it will show you memories in ways you have not quite expected. It'll come in such wonderful, magnificent, unexpected ways. It'll come to you right now. Images, words, sounds. That's right. Images, words, sounds, pictures, maybe in 3D or still pictures, whatever it is, something coming quite live. And it will continue to come up alive. It will continue to come up on the surface more and more, beginning to remember. Easy to retrieve past memories. Suggestion is so very simple. You are focused, you thrive as a writer, and as you focus and write and write and write, memories begin to come up on the surface. It's easier to remember without even trying. And the more you stay focused on your work, the more you believe that you are great as a writer, that you will pull out the pieces of the puzzle to finish your memoir, that you can and you will and everything will be easily remembered now and in the next days ahead. That's right. All tension gone from the body. All worries, all concerns, or disbelief. Have this profound belief in yourself, faith, that it's time, it's your time, Elizabeth. It's your time to thrive and succeed in ways that you haven't even imagined. Four, feeling good all the way around. Number five, at your own pace, Elizabeth, you can open your eyes and come back right here, right now. Welcome back. <laughs> The, the imaging part of it, I feel like, was very visual, you know, very visual, and I felt like that was going, you know, like the yeah. whole into the house and everything. So, do you remember any suggestions that I'd given to you? Um, yeah, I mean, you said, I remember you saying that, you know, that I can finish this, and that I'm, I'm good at this, and that I can, mm -hmm. you know, get, make an appointment with myself, and, yeah. and write, you know, like all that. the time, yeah. Okay. Did you, when, we weren't focusing too much on trying to recover memories right. right now. We were focusing more on giving you a suggestion to recover them at your own pace. Mm -hmm. And I want you to, to begin to experience at least a slight, like just a, just a little bit of trying to remember. Did, did anything begin to come up, any images of that time? Yeah, I would say like a, more of a sort of image, just like a, like a little... But like a snap, not even like a snapshot, like a stamp of an image almost. Do you know what I mean? Like just a little bit of a sort of vague mm -hmm. image. Like I couldn't say like, oh, anything yeah. specific, mm -hmm. but just sort of like a, more sensations, I guess. More you know, sensations. yeah. When you say like a stamp of, of an image, like a, like not really a like not like a whole three D yeah. like looking into yeah, a room, yeah. but more like um, like looking through a periscope or something. You know what I mean? Just like a little like like yeah. sort of a. <clears throat> That's good. Yeah. You didn't actually count all the way down, right? Did like not. You didn't count from 200 all the way all the way down. I went far. I went oh, I far. guess that's where I because I, I don't remember that at all. I think your suggestions were really helpful, and I think that sort of as the next few days go and I make an effort to write, hopefully I'll kind of get past this point that I'm at, which is I've sort of feel like I've gone over whatever memories I can bring up, but I'm kind of like my first draft isn't as vivid as I would like it to be, but I feel like there's these areas where I'm mm -hmm. just like, I don't know, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So hopefully, um, you know, I'll, I'll get, you know, yeah. I'll get back to writing because I was writing every day and then I, I just haven't been the last I, few months. I would love to read when it's done. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it would be really awesome. Thank you so much well, for coming. Thank you. Thank you Absolutely. so much. And um, thank you so much for watching Mind or Matter. Until next time.